Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon. The buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st. Sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon, um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before, the day after. The moon will still be in its full, bright, shiny strength and power for you know the full day before, day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about. So this is a special time special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with the moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the sun is like the father, the masculine energy. The moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn sun, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn moon and Cancer sun. It's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something, something amazing for us. And of course, our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways. And so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful, more calming, more abundant for everyone. And so please keep in mind at all times, of course, to keep our energies and our positivity as high, our vibes as high as we can. But this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power. Those energies from the sun and the moon combining, showering on the earth, is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all, you know, it, whatever we're dealing with, whatever we're feeling at this time, is going to be amplified. And a blue moon period is about two and a half year period. So that's a long time for whatever we're working on now, concentrating on now to manifest. Okay, so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life. She's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. 
the mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be, and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea, creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance. Every full moon period, every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks, in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six month period. Today, or at this time, we're working with Capricorn Moon, which is full because it's opposite of the Sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when that the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter. We are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight. Perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out, you can use it, you can sip it, you can ingest the, um, the energies, or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special, you can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of, that, of the intentions that you set in it, and that full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun so this is this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water you can also charge your crystals and stones during this time every month I charge all of my crystals in the um, in the moon under the full moon in order to keep them vibrant and energetic you can take a moon bath you can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your window sill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin, a wallet or your bank card. Put it on this window sill and uh, let the moon charge that up give you more energy, give your money more energy, more power. This is a Capricorn moon. It's about, it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or, or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy, and whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times.
This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in, is the crone. And she, she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her, uh, she's honing her, she's passing her skills, I'm, I'm sorry, on to the younger ones. And she's transitioning into a new phase, which will be into the new moon, a new life, our death and rebirth. And so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. It's a beautiful time for that. And as I said before, we are in the Capricorn moon. This is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong work, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might ha feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant. They feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses um, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no, but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Um, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, Making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon. So every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of cancer season and this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season entering into Leo season which is represented by the Sun so this is a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by cancer or cancer is ruled by the moon I should say and Leo is ruled by the Sun and on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon 
will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season and that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions our mother and our father coming together our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time okay it's 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 very exciting to me um it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare it's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of capricorn energy okay so we, we already had our dose of capricorn energy at the last full moon and here we are getting another full dose of capricorn sun onto the moon and so it's a supercharged full moon every full moon is a very powerful time but the blue moon is extremely power it's supercharged it gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon so don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic now as i was saying generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago but that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now we're going to talk about that when we get into our reading okay and so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention and because the power the, the full moon is so powerful it is possible that during this moment your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true those could be this could be this magic moment that you need to to create the miracle to to feel that miracle to actually witness something rare to take place for you and so let me um, explain um, this is a positive sign this um, this blue moon is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe whatever you were asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen it is important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen then guess what it won't happen so just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams okay it's it's not impossible okay so I want to thank you for joining me we're getting we're getting ready to do some readings for you I'm going to have a special reading for you to um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. Hello Aquarius. So good to be back here again with you. I really appreciate you come check out my channel. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with your reading um, for this full moon in Capricorn. This exciting blue moon of change and um, progress so let's move forward with that Aquarius wow we're so I'm so excited next the next time we have a full moon it will be in your sign and that's going to be pretty exciting Aquarius is my north node so I really uh, I really do appreciate the Aquarius energy Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move forward here with your reading for this full moon period. We're going to learn uh, how we're going to see from Spirit. How far have we come since the last 
uh, the since the new moon in Capricorn occurred back six months ago, we're going to also learn about what would be good for us to release at this time for this full moon period. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay. All right, let's start. This first card is indicating what you have created since the new moon in Capricorn. All right. And it looks like you have the Page of Pentacles. So it looks like you've created or you're beginning um, a new project with some enthusiasm, with some love and some uh, eagerness to, to start. Um, so you've got some new opportunity here that's going on for you, Aquarius. All right. And this position is where are you now? looks like you're in the position of justice, okay? So you're in balance and equal and fair, all right? Or you're experiencing some, maybe experiencing karma, um, you know, or something like that. Some kind of a cause and effect going on. Um, I'm also going to clarify with all of these cards, so, so just bear with me on that. This next card is what are you becoming aware of, okay? Oh, wow, this is pretty interesting. So you are becoming aware of the, uh, the energy of the high priestess who is, um, you know, she has, she's led by her, um, her intuition. She's guided by the moon as well. Mm-hmm. These two major arcanas here are very similar as well to uh, balanced, two balanced major arcanas here. Okay, let's look at the clarifying cards. All right, let's go for that. And that's going to help us to get a better picture of where we are now and what we need to be aware of. Okay. All right. Okay, the Page of Pentacles, Justice, and the High Priestess. The Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Wands. So taking action on your ideas, life is moving ahead. So it looks like you have, um, you know, you have this new beginning, this fresh mindset of this new opportunity that you're working on eagerly and at the same time um, things have been moving fast and you've ha been having to make quick decisions um, a lot of change has take taken place lately or in the last six months so that you've gotten to this point or that you've been making forward movement lots of change and things are happening with this uh, opportunity going on with the beginning the justice card is okay the justice card is in the position of where you are now and it's clarified by the nine of swords okay it says worrying changes nothing decide your next step okay so i feel like with this justice card that there's an adjustment needed and fairness and truth um anxieties involved here in making a decision or dealing with some legal matter perhaps um, <clears throat> the advice on this for the nine of swords is to uh, go ahead and decide your next step okay um, this is a, a, a pretty rough and harsh energy to be in so it it requires you to make a decision okay and your decision should be made with fairness and and with good judgment and you know with keeping in mind that whatever you choose uh, should be made with balance love and care and uh, consideration for 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 justice and for karma for for uh, the cause and effect of things. Uh, you know, that might be what's causing the, the, the uh, anxiety or the worry, 
But whatever the case may be, there is a way forward. There's a way out of that. One way is to uh, get out of your comfort zone. You know, this blanket kind of represents the person staying in the comfort zone um, and feeling feeling trapped in that in this uh, like a cycle of nightmares, a never ending never ending nightmare. But uh, I believe there's going to, you know, we're definitely going to find some hope and in, in this when we learn what to release and when we learn here what to be aware of, okay? So the high priestess is clarified by the five of swords. So the high priestess is asking us to use our intuition. The high priestess is... Uh, She's using her inner wisdom. She's, she's looking inside herself to decide what is best to do, to, to say. what She's making those choices from inside, from her intuition, and she's using higher wisdom to do that. Um, she's being balanced, and she's, um, you know, that, that's something that can contribute and help us in this situation here. Um, it also, this uh, Five of Swords is interesting because it does also indicate some anxiety, some discord. Um, the advice for this card is sometimes the victory is not worth the price. So if you find yourself trying to um, win by, by any means or something like that, um, you know, if you feel, I mean, take a look at yourself, look inside yourself. Okay. Use your wisdom, use your inner guidance to, to determine what's going on inside of you about this. Find out, you know, are you being fair? Are you actually making decisions that will, um, are you making a choice and a movement here that's going to be karmically satisfying for you in the future um you know let's see this also this also could be self-sabotage here and i'm just i would also say that if you're making choices about something that involve other people and and winning or something like that you know be careful you look inside yourself use your high priestess energy, your intuition, um, your intelligence, and your thoughtfulness to correct this situation by deciding to take the next step and doing that, making that decision not out of, with conflict, not out of aggression, not out of fear of failure. You're not, you know, don't worry about that. Don't sabotage yourself. Uh, but make your choice, make your decision to, uh, for the next step in a way that's going to be um, loving and fair to everyone. Look at things from other points of view, okay? Make sure that you understand that if anyone, um, if there's, if there's some conflict or something going on, looks like with this, uh, with other people, make sure that you're dealing with these people in a way that's not selfish or uh, argumentative in, in a harsh way or hurtful way. You know, it, you're being asked to be fair and, and uh, understanding, understanding at this time, okay, like the high priestess would be. Now another, uh, this row here will help us to deal with these issues by um, helping us to know what to release and how are we going to go about releasing something. What would what would behoove us to, to let go of? of? And that's what's going to be in this. Okay, look, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is telling us that we are in a karmic cycle right now. Okay, the time is now to embrace and let go and surrender to the universe. Allow this, you know, don't fight the changes that are coming here. Um, it's time to 
let go of the past and embrace the future here. Start fresh on this new course in, in a way of wisdom and intuition, thoughtfulness and kindness, and with fairness, and with, um, you know, the law on your side. The, um, not just the law in general, but not just the, the law secularly, but the law of the universe, you know. Um, whatever is the right thing to do is what you should consider doing. And that will free up the anxiety in your mind. That will soften these conflicts that you may be feeling right now. Okay. All right. And the next card is going to explain how to let go. And the how is with that Ace of Pentacles. Wow. You have an amazing opportunity here. You have an amazing opportunity to start, you know, you've got this page of Pentacles. This is where you are now. You, you have this spirit says, take this, watch it, build something beautiful and watch it grow. Okay. This is because you have this new cycle here. It's time for you to let go of, you know, unfairness, selfishness, conflicts, anguish, hopelessness, victim, you know, self-victimization or self-sabotage, fear of failure. Let go of that using that uh, ability that you have as a, a very intuitive person a very equalized and, and just person. Move forward in this new cycle with your Ace of Pentacles. Start fresh. Have this new opportunity. Take this. Okay. And what resources, Spirit's going to give us what resources we have to help us to overcome this. Spirit says you have the five of wands here is part of your resources. This is a competition. Um, so let's get a clarifier on all of these cards. But I want to find out how is five of wands helping you to manage these changes and to let go of things. What's it? What is the um, answer here? So we're going to clarify all of these cards now. Aquarius, thank you, Spirit. Please, please help us to clarify for Aquarius how to let go and what what is it that you provide for Aquarius in order to release and let go of the past and start fresh. Thank you. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Four of Wands. Be ready for the opportunity you've worked for. Okay? So you are going to see in this new cycle, if you're ready for this new opportunity, if you take this opportunity like that Page of Pentacles and you build something out of this, what you are going to receive in this new cycle, this brand new world for you, is this four of wands okay a celebration stability no more of this home rest your cleverness okay beauty romance mirth joy community you're going to be embraced by the whole universe in such a loving way but i think it's up to you to Move forward in this new cycle here with good vibrations. Because if you're staying in the, if you're still in this energy when this cycle starts over, when the, then, you know, if you stay in a low vibration, then that new cycle is going to carry that low vibration right into it. So right now you need to know that with this new opportunity, you need to resolve these issues and what you have to look forward to is a future that is stable, beautiful, um, loving, celebratory, um, peaceful, 
all of those things are right there for you and this is your motivation to release um this and and what another thing you need to re think about releasing is the tension the anxiety unpreparedness being in a rush like this eight you know um excessive force being insincere those are the things that would also block your four of wands that you have coming to you in this next cycle so be careful of i mean just take care of these issues here with um you know with peace in your heart have peace with everything by doing what is you know in your in your intuition is the right thing to do doing the right thing bringing about justice that is um that is going to bring um peace to you you know bring your vibrations up those are the things that's going to help you and you know this also indicates a karmic a karmic cycle a karmic um um, situation here we also have this is the symbol for uh, the Aquarius in this in these four um, four symbols here one of the one of the you know there's only four represented from the zodiac and you are one of them so Aquarius please uh, take in take to heart this message because I think it's really going to help you going forward because you have the new opportunity here you have this new pinnacle you have gorgeous future here for yourself a new as a portal into a new life that's going to be free from anxiety to the most for the most part okay you're not going to have to worry anymore about things that happened in the old world in the old cycle all right so let's look the uh, this is in the how position how to let go you have that ace of pentacles and it's clarified by the fool card okay this is pretty appropriate here too. This is the new cycle. You're getting out of this old stuff. When you go into the new cycle, you've got your Ace of Pentacles. You've got the full energy being, uh, you know, that childlike new beginning here. Um, you've already, you will have passed the old world, the old system. This new moon that we're going through, this blue moon is also another pivot point major pivot point that you are releasing yourself from the old cycles the old thing that you kept doing over and over and over again this is time to just start fresh start new with you know this full energy the fool doesn't mean that you're a fool of course it means that you're starting fresh you have this childlike anticipation wonder curiosity excitement about this new world this new journey you know you're gonna you should be taking your uh taking care to not do anything foolish but be free spread your wings and fly know that spirit will have your back spirit does always have your back really and this is the this is the time when you know that spirit will have your back okay you feel it you're starting fresh You've got a whole new out, outlook on life. And I'm really curious, how does this uh, resources position, the five of wands, what it's clarified by this ace of swords, okay? So here is another ace for you, for you, an ace for you, Aquarius. And you are an air sign, so you, you are able to embrace the ace of swords speak your mind to solve your problems okay use your ability of logic insight clarity to get to the heart of this matter the heart of the matter here speak it out get you're gonna have these ideas that's going to break up this competition it's going to break up this uh conflict here this five of wands and this five of swords you know, we've got passion here. We've got uh, ideas and thoughts here. And they're clashing and they're fighting and they're fighting. And it's time for you to, this is your resource here. This is your opportunity, air, Aquarius, air, 
uh, you are here. You're going to be given a chance, a breakthrough on all of this, an idea that's going to lead you to victory. You see the crown here, victory. You're going to, this is where you're going to be when you find, when you finally take a hold of this situation with, with your intuition, with your heart and knowing what's really right to do, make your decision and break up this conflict. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and get the spirit animals input on this. They're going to help us with a little bit more information and clarity and insight here. We're going to let them help us to um, understand more fully what to do here. Aquarius, that one's wanting to come out. And there's another one. What else? For Aquarius, thank you. Aquarius. Okay. All right. First, they gave you the vision, eagle. It's time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you, and opportunities you never dreamed were possible will present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness. Okay. Look at that, Aquarius. What a appropriate card for you to... Um, for vision, because you are a visionary, okay? The next card they gave you is forgiveness. If you are feeling angry about a past issue, the elephant is asking you to discover the more vulnerable feelings behind that anger. You are being asked to forgive and be gentle with others, okay? That reminds me of these cards here, and also this competition here, and the justice card. Forgiveness is important here. Letting go of this conflict here. Um, be gentle with others. Forgive yourself. Forgive other people. Okay, look into your heart and, and do that. And you will really be rewarded with this. I, I am positive of that. Okay, and where is this? Is the other one. Strength. Bear. The bear symbolizes a strong source of support in times of difficulty and adverse adversity. De clearly shown here in this cards. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. Okay? So stay strong, Eric Aquarius. You have the strength to also solve solve your problems with truth and um, your truth use your truth look inside yourself here look inward with an attentive eye to follow allow your heart to tell you what your truth is okay all right so that's a pretty pretty deep uh i think reading for you aquarius i really hope that it helps you i hope that you Find whatever you need to move forward out of this um, conflict or, you know, rough patch of whatever. Um, but I know that you do have it in you and you do have the ability. You have so much going for you. This Ace of Pentacles is a, definitely a new opportunity for you. Okay. Something great is provided for you here. I think it's it, this is going to come when this is resolved somehow. Um, so just keep that in mind. And I think that you'll be in beautifully rewarded with that. You know, we have that uh, four of wands there as your, your motivator um, as well, as well as just getting rid of that anxiety. Okay. <laughs> Um, so here is a, um, I'm Gemini. I know that, that nine of swords card is uh, a card that reflects my, uh, that, that's reflected in Gemini quite often. So, um, I understand that feeling and I, I, and you know, it's just, you don't even necessarily feel it sometimes, but it's just there because we're so used to it because we're air sign. Uh, we're constantly thinking we have so much mental energy. Um, that 
we don't even sometimes realize that it's anxiety. <laughs> that anxiety is playing a part of that. All right, so let's go ahead and look into this career oracle messages. I'm choosing this one more time. We, this is what I've been using. And instead of changing it up this time, I'm using it in honor of that Capricorn full moon because, you know, Capricorn is very goal oriented, very career minded. So I'm going to keep using this today. Um, so let's go ahead and get this mini reading here for you, Aquarius. See what's up. Uh, let's see, see what's up with that. I might have should have kept that, but I want to trust that it will come back if it needs to, if it was meant to be. Okay. All right, here we go. For Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, here we go. Courage. Look, ask what you are afraid of so you can overcome what's holding you back now. There are leadership opportunities for the taking, okay? Leadership opportunities. So go ahead and use that courage, the strength, and the card is a good one. It says, ask what you're afraid of so that you can overcome what's holding you back, okay? So that's something you need to release as well. What, what are you afraid of, okay? And the next card is star power. You need engaging work that will let your talents shine. You are a natural actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. Okay, Aquarius, I think um, if that's calling to you, if you feel like that star power, which the star is uh, one of your, it's your major arcana, um, star power for you, fame and fortune for you, if that's what you want. Okay, here we go. Last one, gifts. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with a deal as well. All right, so gifts are coming your way, Aquarius. I, I can feel that as well. All right, well, that does it for this reading today. I hope that you enjoy that. I hope that you can get some uh, you know, solace, some uh, motivation, some uh, something that will strengthen you. And as well, I would like to um, also let you know that I am calling out to my viewers that um, if they would look into the intro and try to determine which crystals I have out, I have six different types of crystals. And if you are able to make a guess on those six types of crystals, put those in the comments. If anyone who correctly chooses six different crystals that I've put there, then I will find a way to send you a crystal from me. And also, if no one does choose six correctly, then whoever gets the closest to that, I will send them the, uh, the free crystal. So I was also wanting to uh, ask that if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. I've made, the, uh, I made it a little bit easier for uh, people who are watching on a television screen. Um, at the end of the video, there's an end screen that all you have to do is navigate up and click on it to subscribe. Um, for sure, that would help me uh, tremendously. And I also wanted to add that your likes and comments help me to get better and better at this. I really do appreciate and love every single one. I would never take them for granted. Um, so I just want to wish you the best, Aquarius. I want to send all the love and blessings that I have for you. I um, I hope that you have a beautiful next new month, new life, new cycle. Um, so that, that being all for now, I'll see you next time. Love and light.